Hello everybody, uh, this is, uh, Lord Dragon I, uh, whatever you want to call me, Bob, <laughs> some dude. Um, anyway folks, um, sort of something a little, you know, from my regular stuff, um, building a boat. Yeah, it's a boat. It's a boat made out of popsicle sticks. Uh, I wasn't going to do this, uh, of YouTube video of this. But I decide, oh, what the heck. So anyway, obviously when you're building a boat, um, things you should know. Rip cage, of course. Each boat's usually built differently. I, I'm used to doing this. I used to do this all the time when I was a lot younger in high school and stuff. So this is how I used to build boats. I know it's uh, not exactly different, but it's cheap. It's easy to do. Well, it does take quite a bit of time to do, but it's it's not the easiest thing. First, what I usually do is I usually start with the skeleton structure of the boat. Um, this is going to be based off a schooner type sailboat. Um, my largest boat was about six feet. And that was pretty huge. So I built these things many times. And I'm just building them as I go. So, hot glue, of course, you know. Uh, so this is a little bit different of a take. Um, you know, start something different, a different project. Now, as I said before, I built these things many, many times. I remember I built a boat back in junior high, in high school. I used to build these things when I was younger. I kind of miss doing these types of projects. They were a lot of fun back in the day. It's probably been maybe 20 or 30, no, about maybe 20 years since I last built one. Not 20 years, maybe, I don't know, somewhere. It's been quite a while, I forget how long it's been. I'll just use my phone. So yeah, I just decided that I'm gonna start doing this again because you know, I, I've been thinking over the past little while that I wanted to build a boat. Uh, the most difficult thing to build is the stern. Reason being is because these types of sticks are harder to shape. So getting the stern structure takes a bit of skill. However, I used to build them all the time and I've done so many. And this has been something very successful in the past. I built five of these boat projects. Um, Two of them sunk. One is in the bottom of a pond somewhere, and the other got scrapped. I never really revealed this to anyone, so show you guys some I'm you know, building the frame. So anyway, uh, so what I'm starting with is just the top section of the boat or the ship, or whatever the vessel you want to call it. Usually I come up with a name afterwards. And yeah. So this isn't going to be a very long video. Just kind of give you guys a little idea of, you know, what I'm doing. So boat building is, is nothing new. You can't live in the maritime provinces and not know how to build these things. As you can see, it's not exactly like, right now it looks out of shape and looks a little funky, but, you know, eventually it will start to take shape after a while. The only thing annoying about hot glue is the stupid glue strings that get all over the place. And they can irritate you. glue string so I don't like using the glue gun but you can use wood glue but it takes longer with wood glue to do it you know once you get to about the shape of it and see, I don't know if you guys can see it very well but it's taking shape there's your stern it's your upper deck well the main deck anyway um then we got our first set of ribs usually what I do is I build about maybe 
well, the length of a popsicle stick, I'd go like this, and then another rib, and then another popsicle stick length, and another rib. Craft sticks, whatever the, whatever you want to call them. I usually prefer them popsicle sticks. Um, what I used to do is I used to soak these in water to make them more flexible. In hot water, boiling water, then bend them to shape. And let them sit overnight. That's what I usually do. Since the hull of this boat is going to be rather tough, take these off. See, this is really, really tough. So you know, you kind of want to, don't want to break it. Then it broke. Now it's useless, garbage, complete garbage. Seriously. Well, so much for that. Once they break, that's it. They're done. Well, you can't use them anymore. Yeah. Getting them to shape is the hardest thing to do. Useless. Well, these ones are harder to bend. You know, once they're wet, they kind of bend easier, they're more flexible, and you got to really bend them. It takes hours to do, and make a bunch of ribs. What I used to do is put them in a radiator and let them dry, and then they curve into the shape you want. Yeah, anyway, so if you guys want to see more of this boat building, uh, let me know, and uh, tell me what you think. Anyway, that's it for this. I um, just thought I'd show you a short video. And yeah, I guess as this project goes, I'll take more videos, post some pictures, put them up on Facebook, um, and all that fun stuff. And you can see this thing come across. It's going to be motorized, and it's going to be sail, it's going to be remote control. So it's going to be an RC boat, eventually. But yeah, I know it looks flimsy and weak, but... It's going to look good when it's done. Anyway, that's it for now. Hope you enjoy. Later, folks.